Captain Peacock. Oh, I have Mr. Rumbo for you. There's no need for me to speak to him. Oh. Uh, he doesn't want to speak to you. <laughs> Just tell him I want to see him. Hmm? Hello? Oh, he's hung up. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, get him again. Just tell him he's wanted. Hello, Captain Peacock. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you tell him Mr. Rumble wants him? Thank you. Uh, now, uh, I need a file. Oh, I think I've got one in here. <laughs> From the filing cabinet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, see what that is, will you? Uh, Mr. Rumble's office. Oh, it's Captain Peacock. Oh, dear. Well, ask him what he wants. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> he wants to know what you want. <laughs> I want him in here, not on the phone. Mr. Rumble doesn't want you on the phone. Oh. What is it? He's hung up again. <laughs> I'm going to get very cross in a minute. I hope it's nothing I've done. No, no, well, let's try again, shall we? Try what? Try to get Captain Peacock on the phone. But I thought you wanted him in here. Uh, no. Oh, well, I'd better do it myself. Hello, who is this? What do you mean you can't guess? <laughs> I'm not asking you to guess who I am. I want to know who you are. I see. You won't tell me until I tell you. <laughs> it's hopeless, isn't it? This is Mr. Rumbold. I want to speak to Captain Peacock. Well, <laughs> will you find Captain Peacock? And tell him he's wanted urgently on the phone. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll take it here if you don't mind. Captain <laughs> Peacock, here, I understand you have an urgent telephone call for me. It's me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I understood you to say it was for me. <laughs> it was for you. Well, I see no reason why I shouldn't take an urgent telephone call. I mean, it might have been from my wife, my, my mother. <laughs> it was me phoning you. Well, what do you want, sir? I wanted to speak to you urgently. Well, you only have to pick up the telephone. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, uh, what was it that you wanted to see me about? I want you to advise the staff of the decoration programme. 